thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name's Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot check ride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video continues in covering meteorology and weather theory. We will be covering temperature. Temperature affects many aspects of aviation, with the most important aspect being aircraft performance. The two most common scales by which we measure temperature are Celsius and Fahrenheit, both expressed in degrees. Some points of reference for both are the freezing points and boiling points of water. The freezing points in Celsius and Fahrenheit are 0 and 32 degrees, and the boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius and 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The formula to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or vice versa is simple. Take a Celsius temperature, multiply it by 1.8, and add 32 to the product. For instance, 10 degrees Celsius multiplied by 1.8 is 18, plus 32 gives us 50. So 10 degrees Celsius is equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. To convert a temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, simply do the opposite. Here we have a value of 68 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 32 is 36, divided by 1.8 is 20 degrees Celsius. The same formula is applied to negative values Fahrenheit and Celsius. Heat is energy. Temperature is a measure of how much of this heat energy, or hotness, an object possesses. Temperatures vary with the time of day, season, and latitude. These constant changes drive the never-ending movements of the atmosphere. As stated in the video over atmospheric composition and stability, the standard lapse rate is 2 degrees Celsius per every 1,000 foot altitude gain, meaning that, in a perfect world, the outside air temperature would decrease by 2 degrees for every 1,000 feet that we climb. Beginning with 15 degrees Celsius at sea level, the expected temperature at 1,000 feet, for example, would be 13 degrees, and at 5,000 feet the expected temperature would be 5 degrees Celsius. The world is never perfect, however, and these differences in the observed and standard lapse rates greatly affect cloud formation, thunderstorms, and turbulence. An example of this would be, temperature of water will change much less than the temperature of land with the same amount of heat transfer. An easier way to think of this concept would be, water heats up more slowly than land does with the same amount of sunlight. This causes unequal convection, which may cause one to experience turbulence at lower altitudes while transitioning over a body of water to dry land. In our perfect world, the temperature decreases as altitude increases. The world may be so imperfect, however, that temperatures actually increase momentarily rather than decrease as we climb. This is known as a temperature inversion. Temperature inversions can exist anywhere, but they are most commonly encountered near the surface on clear, cool nights with little wind. As the ground cools at a much more rapid rate than the air above it, the air immediately above the surface cools at a faster rate than the air at higher altitudes. This may cause poor surface visibility by trapping smoke, haze, or fog below the inversion layer. A hazard associated with temperature inversions may be the possibility of warmer precipitation aloft falling through sub-zero air below, causing clear ice to form on any aircraft flying through the lower, colder air mass. This concludes today's video over the temperature. We will use temperature and the lapse rate very heavily during cross-country flight planning and performance calculations. It is important to have a good understanding of what it is and how to use the lapse rate to determine standard temperatures at selected altitudes. As always, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you may like it or share it along to someone else who may benefit. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure the bell to the right of the subscribe button is activated so you'll get notifications about future videos. Feedback in the comments or messages is always greatly appreciated. Thanks again and safe flying.